Last time we began talking about the question, why does God allow suffering? Because whenever you're going through a desperate experience, that's when you realize you have to depend upon God. I think there's a book that could easily be written with the title, Things the Bible Doesn't Say, or maybe a Facebook or Instagram page developed or a YouTube channel even like a fact checker, because there's a lot of misinformation misunderstanding out there within this echo chamber that we live today where things are believed because we hear them being repeated over and over and over and over and we rarely if ever hear anyone saying the truth. I wonder why. The same is true about things that people think the Bible says. Let's fact check some things, some of this misinformation that's circulating in our midst. For instance, have you ever heard someone say, the Bible says cleanliness is next to godliness. Mothers like to quote that verse. Of course, my mother was an expert on pigsties because when I was a kid, I shared a room with my brother and she would walk into our room and say, this is the worst pigsty I've ever seen. But seriously, have you ever heard anyone say, the Bible says cleanliness is next to godliness? That's not what the Bible says. You won't find it in the Bible anywhere. Another quote that people are sure in the Bible. Well, you know, the Bible says God helps those who help themselves. That's not in the Bible. Not only is it not in the Bible, it's contrary to the truth. God doesn't help those who help themselves. God helps the helpless. Here's another thing that's not in the Bible that people say. You know what the Bible says. God won't put more on you than you can bear. Now, that sounds good, and we wish it were true, but I challenge anybody to go through the pages of Scripture and find where it says God will never put more on you than you can bear. There's this promise about temptation in 1 Corinthians, the 10th chapter. There's no temptation that you face that is such that you cannot endure it. What that means is God doesn't cheat. He doesn't give you a temptation that's so strong you cannot resist it. But we're not talking about temptation here. We're talking about adversity. We're talking about trouble or problems. Where does it ever say you won't have more than you can bear? The truth is, sometimes we have so much on us, we can't bear it alone, and it drives us to God. Haven't we learned this over the past couple years? In this upside down world that we find ourselves living in today where our basic constitutional freedoms have been challenged in ways we never dreamed were possible? Freedom of speech has been replaced with censorship? Any information considered dangerous that doesn't fit the narrative is considered false? When you're not allowed to question something at the risk of being banned, censored, or canceled, It's not science, it's propaganda. If a president was kicked off of social media platforms, who's exempt from censorship? Basic freedoms, freedom of worship, churches were closed. I never dreamed in my lifetime I would ever see churches closed in this great country we call America. I remember seeing a guy during the lockdowns being chased down on the beach and arrested because he broke the rules. He was out on the beach with nobody around, and they arrested him. Businesses forced to close, many never to reopen, continually forcing people to wear the cone of shame, the seemingly continuous erosion of our liberties, kind of like the feeling some of you got when you heard that you had to choose whether you're going to violate your body to keep your job. This is too much. This is over the line. I can't do this. I can't deal with this. Sometimes we have so much on us, we can't bear it alone. And that drives us to God. You say, well, is there a scripture about that? Yeah. 2 Corinthians, the first chapter. Here's Paul, the apostle, who in my opinion is an expert on suffering. And he says, we don't want you to be uninformed, brothers, about the hardships that we have suffered in the province of Asia. We were under great pressure 
far beyond our ability to endure. The truth is, God will put more on you than you can withstand by yourself. Let's keep reading. So that we despaired even of life. Indeed, in our hearts, we felt the symptoms of death. Why did this happen? But this happened that we might not rely on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. God wants every one of us to depend totally and completely on him. We like to think that we're independent. We like to think that we can handle things ourselves. We don't need any help from anybody else. Sometimes when things are going great with no problems and no suffering, we don't even think about God. We just think about how good we have it. God wants us to depend on him. Watchman Nee was a great Christian from China. This is what Watchman Nee wrote. God's great purpose is to reduce us. This is because any confidence in one's own flesh is fatal to the confidence and faith in God. Listen to this. God must bring a person to the end of himself before he can release his mighty power. You know what? As long as we're cruising along and we have everything under control and we can handle it, we're not depending upon God. So one reason God allows us to suffer is so we'll depend on him. It doesn't say that God causes suffering, but he allows it. Here's another reason that God allows suffering. Because suffering shows us the value of God's grace. Sometimes we think that grace is just something way back yonder when we got saved. It was grace that brought about the forgiveness of our sins. But we forget that God's grace is active right now, present tense. And next time, we'll see how suffering helps us realize just how valuable is God's grace and power. Thank you, Lord, for the lessons that you're teaching us about suffering. And Lord, I pray that we would understand that we can depend on you, that you want us to depend on you, that we can't handle this ourselves, that the suffering that we go through should always bring us to you into closer relationship with you, that we would depend on you in every circumstance. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Breathe.